Moving on to other distressing news, especially for my interest, um, my guy Joe Budden is involved in some marital disagreements, it seems like. Um, since Antenna has accused Joe Budden of getting physical with him in a leaked phone conversation and now court documents that it's just, yeah, man, it seems like a bit, it's been a bad couple of weeks for Joe Budden, the Joe Budden show or Joe Budden, yeah, podcast. If you're not familiar, they had a show or podcast exclusively on Spotify that was due for renegotiation. Uh, but of course they couldn't come to any kind of resolution so they decided to amicably part ways of course in typical Joe Biden fashion it wasn't that amicable he kind of aired out his grievances with Spotify mentioned some stuff that was kind of justifiable and some stuff that I kind of didn't agree with but in the end they couldn't work out a deal that made sense for both parties so they parted ways no problem but since that it feels as if like and again, Joe's a bit of a conspiracy theorist, so maybe listening to this guy too much, you can kind of get sucked into his way of thinking. But having seen the issues or the things that have kind of transpired since this is kind of broken out, it kind of makes me believe that there is people, there is maybe some high ups orchestrating Joe Budden's downfall. Or maybe capitalizing on the fact that they see him and he's vulnerable in his position because he doesn't have the co-sign of Spotify next to him. But essentially what happened was that um, obviously he said what he said about Spotify, which then led to him having a back and forth with Charlemagne, which then led to um, his old Mrs. Um, what's her name? Ba, 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 Tahiri, Tahiri coming out, alleging that, that she, basically insinuating that Joe Budden broke her nose. And then now suddenly you have Sin Santana, who's the mother of his newborn child, coming out and essentially saying that she wants full custody of the kid because Joe's an absolute nutcase, according to the documents that she filed, right? Allegedly. Um, this is the so this is the article here called uh, from what was that? Madame Madame Noir. So Sin Santana accuses Joe Budden of getting physical with her in a leaked phone conversation. It says, last week we told you that Tahiri shared what should been an abusive relationship with Joe Budden and that he fractured her rib and pushed her down the stairs during heated uh, moments. He responded on her claims on his podcast by claiming she was actually abused him and they had a toxic relationship and saying that she is a cancerous, toxic, clout, check, clout and check chasing liar. Bloody hell, man playing out all this in public is just oh yeah yeah as we previously stated um she isn't the first woman budden has been involved with to claim that the rapper and podcaster was abusive it now seems like she won't be the last it's unclear how the audio leaked by a conversation between budden and his former fiance sin santana was recently released it seems to be from the right it seems to be from uh, right after the breakup and two months before they started filming their late season Love and Hip Hop New York. The former couple are having a really hard time on the call with coming uh, to an agreement about how to best co-parent their son Lexington. It is their first time talking in a while. She asked him to not reach out to her for a while and he said he was trying to give her time but admitted sin. I'm really trying not to be that guy to just start stalking you and just popping up so we can have a face-to-face -face conversation. Um, and it continues as she says she needs him to respect her space and focus on what's important. What is important is that she says she needs him to help provide a home for their son because she claims that he kicked her out and their son out of his home and hadn't been helped and hadn't helped her financially. She also said um, she isn't comfortable with him caring for her son alone because of his busy schedule, not knowing the needs of their son, who is a baby at the time and allegedly drinking habits. Um, he reiterates that he isn't trying to meet up with her to have a healthy, he, he, he what? He tried to have a healthy face-to-face -face conversation, sorry, so they can hash out their differences, but she won't allow it. In response to that, she says she doesn't want to meet him because he's allegedly chased and dragged her, which I guess sparks the whole entire backlash on it, right? And it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because I think the issue obviously is, especially with Joe, is that if you listen to the podcast, you know how hard he is on people that have been accused and you know on hitting women and he's been involved in a few relationships that you know of course they're toxic and it takes two people to create a toxic relationship but there are too many occasions where joe's been involved in women and it's kind of resulted in some sort of physical altercation there's been too many instances of um those kind of things you know for people to kind of look him and give him a bit of decider especially when you consider their stance that they took on you know tory lanes and stuff like that right it kind of makes it odd you know, to take that kind of stance when you've got these sort of skeletons that you're kind of dealing with in your own regard. And then the other side of it, I guess, in, in terms of leaking the phone call, it can only come from one place because it sounds like, you know, it was Sim that was recording it. You can question why that's happened. I think as a fan of the podcast, 
it's odd because I think just a couple of weeks ago, Joe was sort of like talk, talking quite glowingly about Sin, how they kind of had mended their relationship somewhat and that they were kind of co-parenting in a good and harmonious way. And then suddenly now it feels as if like she's done a completely 360 and sort of like she's doing everything she can to kind of, you know, muddy his name so that she can claim full custody of the kid. So I guess in some respects, if you're Joe, you can't take that leaked document too personally because she needs to do what she needs to do as a mother to kind of get custody of the child so she needs to kind of draw in a memory bank and pull out any occasion or any memory that she has of you being an unfit father just so she can paint herself in a good light it's neither good or bad it's neither here or there it is what it is um i guess the issue for joe is that without the big corporate backing how can you i guess maybe there's an argument to say that if you don't have the corporate backing you can maybe sustain this assault on you better than if you had the corporate backing but some of it's making me feel as if like i don't know man is this podcast going to survive this stuff like these are some very serious allegations especially considering the women that are saying these things are not flings they're not people that he met in a star in a nightclub or something or a strip club right these are women that he was kind of friends with right even in the document i think it alleges that or she says actually since um she met joe when she was 17 and he was like 25 or something so they know each other for years right so it's not like these are just some fly-by-night women who are trying to essentially extort him or get some money out of his pocket or basically extort him or use you know use this opportunity to get more clout these are women who have kind of you know dated this guy for a long time know how he is as a person and are now alleging these really really bad things against him and it just seems like considering you know and then the, again the story about him and his dog as well is going viral online it's just a complete horror show of a situation man it really is um you'd you, you'd love there to be some lessons to be learned from this but i just don't think that's the case i think you're just gonna have to just ride this one out the way it is and just hope for the best um hope to come out the other side a far better person whether or not that happens or not who knows but yeah it's just a shame to see joe Biden go through this man um just as a fan of the show in general again if he's done what he's done then you know he doesn't have anyone to blame else but himself but you know god almighty man imagine playing all this baby mama drama in and this is real baby mama drama this isn't like you know he did he didn't buy me a handbag or he didn't get me a car this is like some real shit real real shit it's funny though i think in the court document just said that supposedly he's on molly every day <laughs> that's a mad drug to take daily you know maybe it's an american thing because i think they have it differently right you think americans put it in like capsules and shit and mix it with sugar and all that malarkey um they're a bit odd with that stuff right because those kids that go to like those edm raves are on it like all night long in it and in most civilized places it's usually a thing that you take to kind of give you a pep to sort of you know give you a bit of a boost when your energies are running a bit low but to be on it daily right to be like sucking them sucking on a, on a capsule like it's a tic tac is odd um maybe it's a natural reaction to somebody that's a bit is that a thing if you're depressed would you take molly i don't think that's true right or if you have some sort of mm, i'm not too sure maybe depressed is not the right one maybe whatever it is i i wonder if it helps in terms of clearing the mind or allowing you just to feel a little bit of happiness for a short period in your for a short period in your day right maybe that's the kind of thing but i thought that was odd um obviously the touching up with the kid uh, sorry touching up with the dog she alleged that he um kisses their son on the mouth <laughs> which is an issue just some things that you should never know again it goes back to the older beckham thing it's like the stuff that i shouldn't know about people that i kind of look up to or people that i kind of i'm a fan of i shouldn't know these intimate details about them it's just too much you know what i mean but i guess you know they're both public figures and they have to kind of work it out in the best way possible it's best for them um and yeah man it's gonna be a messy one it feels like i don't think there's gonna be any way that they could amicably sort this in any real good way like the solution of course is that they both kind of you know become adults and decide that hey there's a there's a little kid at, at stake here that's far more important than than the sum of our individual parts um we're stronger together as a family but i think that i think that um that car has long long or that horse has long bolted mate long long bolted but hey what can you do